Hello guys, my name is Nyan and welcome back to another video. If you guys are new to my channel today, please consider leaving a like and subscribing as it greatly helps everything that I'm doing here. At this point, you guys are most likely wanting to know the cost and the upkeep of the base, so on screen now, we'll be looking at those numbers. Now, please be aware that the Melfrex cost is a little inflated as we spammed garage doors, deployables, and all that fun stuff, but other than that, we're looking pretty good. So, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, consider either leaving a comment in the comment section below, or joining my Discord, the link is in the description. Alright guys, let's get on to a tour. Alrighty guys, before we actually build the base, we're going to be going on a little tour. So starting at the outside here, this base does look pretty darn weird compared to the normal metas that are going around, and you'll see so pretty quickly. So entering in one of our four entrances, it's just a simple single door airlock kind of thing going on here. We have some auto turrets at the bottom right here, four of those, one on each side. And then we have these peaks up and out of our mini china wall slash compound, whatever you want to call it. These guys are really nice, really basic. And also behind these double doors, there are bedrooms. Alrighty, now there are two entrances into the base, one on each side. And one side will take us up into our open core, and the other side will take us to our starter. On the other side, it's just an entrance to the open core, and you'll see that in a minute when I show you. So going into our starter unit, just a simple single door airlock and a basic 2x2 two two starter is followed in here. Here we can see our main TC upkeep. And yeah, all good. Tons of box space, tons of deployable space. It's just meant to be a starter unit for what is to come. So here, I'm gonna jump around back through the shell to the other side and show you what this looks like, just so you guys know. So from this other side, the right side is just being used as honeycomb for TC. And, excuse my jumping, we can come up to our little open core. Right away you'll see we have a little open core peak through this wall right here. And we have a good amount of box space. We have ramp peak turrets up at these sections. Tons of turrets throughout. Vending machines are tier 3. It is a nice little core. We got a good amount of box space below. You can alternate this for uh, more boxes. However, I just like doing the ramp method as they're kind of fun. And then we have two partitioned. Four box lit rooms, one on each side, which can be walled off. You know, you can window this off and do however you would like. And yeah, it's pretty cool. It's kind of a nice little take on this. I'm enjoying it. Jumping to the next level, we'll have another little peek into our area like this. And going up again, we have a retake onto our core peak area. So as you can see here, just super simple retake, followed to a single door jump up. And here you'll see we just have tons of beds, lockers. There's actually batteries behind these guys right here. And we also have these auto turrets that are watching our core peaks directly into core. And these core peak turrets are beautiful as they watch this main entrance right here extraordinarily well. So yeah. And also to mention, we have a bedroom on each side through these double doors. So even more, just little partitions. There's tons of spots for everything here. All right. So going through our ladder hatch, this will take us to our shooting floor level. So if I get up here, we have a great spot for another battery room if it's necessary. Otherwise, just a bedroom works here perfectly fine. But tons of visibility, that's all this floor is, to the shooting floor. Beds on every single one of these platforms. You can see that these are our shooting floor slash inner peaks, if you'd like to call them that. And I really like these peaks. And then these peaks are also beautiful for peeking far away. Roof peekups. And we have our jump ups to roof. And apologies there. Now I have four turrets on this roof. I'll make it a little easier. I'm not staying towards the sun. More than enough room for a minicopter and all of that kind of stuff. And yeah, you don't really need the four turrets, but uh, symmetry just kind of going like that. So. Without further ado, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please join my Discord, link is in the description, or post a comment in the comment section below. I answer every question you guys have, I'm more than happy to do it. Alright guys, I love you all, and let's get to the actual build. Alrighty guys, as many of you already might know, I like to show off the footprint before we actually get started. So, showing off this here, this is our core 2x2. This is our shell. If you ever remembered the bobcat design, this is a shell. Basically, it's the exact same thing, but just done entirely differently, in my opinion. So, as you can tell here, these would be our outer peaks, bedrooms, and or entrances here. And yeah, super small footprint, you know, all that. So, let's wipe to foundations, or wipe the island, and get started with it. 
So to start building the base, we're gonna be starting with a extraordinarily basic two by two. And you can kind of start this off of any two by two that you have created and just go from there. So coming into here, we'll be doing it my way, which I personally like to do it this way. I like to place my TC personally in this corner right here as it's not as easy to see from the door. Once you have boxes and all that, it's still gonna be annoying, but you won't be able to see it from the outside. And this peak here, it'll be a little harder for them to then it would be if it's in this corner. So coming into here, we're gonna be placing a shelf. Switching back to my symmetry. And then coming outside here, I'm gonna do a little build up to throw a shelf in the inside. I, I expect everyone to kind of know how to do a two by two starter at this point. So just do whatever you find is best and I'll just show some extraordinarily basic box placements and we'll go from there. Alrighty. Add your doors, you know the deal. And on these guys, I don't like to do ramps in these loot rooms. It's not like the honeycomb matters too much. I personally just like to do one of these where I jump through like here, call it good. And my personal way of doing this entire room, tier two or tier one, whatever you'll be using at the time. I put my tier two like this and to slam furnaces across this wall. If you have it, beautiful spot for a locker, another furnace, not bad. Slam our bags through here. And we are good. And of course, if you really want to get down to the nitty gritty, you can also throw your small boxes. Okay, so as soon as possible, you guys should upgrade this entire thing to sheet metal. Whatever you can get, I'm using sanctuary commands to kind of upgrade it all. But just as fast as you guys can get it, you can upgrade it all from the inside. It's not too hard. Whatever you can kind of access. At any point that you can upgrade this door to armored, it just helps to increase raid cost. And then going out to here, we're going to continue with the expansion. So to make this so I can turn symmetry on, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the other side of the base over here. And I'm going to add a triangle and honeycomb it in for our TC. Okay. And just so I can turn symmetry on and I'll show you what I'll do next. So now coming to this side, on both sides, we're going to honeycomb this guy in. You don't have to put these walls in the on the in-between, but it's always good to do so. Apologies. And we'll keep building. So now what we will do is we will build either a double door or a single door entrance. And we're going to make a jump up to our next level here. We'll do this on both sides. So we can double door this off. So this guy off and coming up here. It'll look the same on this side, like so. Now what we'll do is we're going to place a window on both sides, the door frame, and wall this guy in, and make a jump up to the next level. Cap this guy off again, and we're gonna keep building. So we're gonna wall this guy in like so. We're gonna put two full walls like this, half walls, triangles on top. Now through the central portion, what we're going to do is we're going to build this section higher and we're just keeping, kind of keeping it going higher and higher. We're going to put a half wall here and then another window. Sealing this all off like that. It's a little weird, guys. Now we're going to come over here and we're going to seal this off and add what will be this section. And this will be that little kind of corner loot room. I suggest doing a uh, window instead of garage doors to save gears, but we'll put four boxes in each of these. I should just go ahead and do that right now. It's easier when you don't have the window on, but uh, personal preference. So cool. What we'll do now is we will put our half walls in the middle here, double door frames, half walls, and cap this guy off. And if you can sheet metal these right away, actually you're supposed to leave this guy open this and we want to put a frame or a square like this upgrade this guy now come up here I'll show you make sure this frame is here if you can sheet metal this early oops, apologies do it 
and then rotate this ramp like this. Now we're going to be placing a wall and a single door frame here. And the reason we're doing a single door frame is a little weird. We just don't want the turret to be accessed from a certain way, but you can double door this if it kind of scares you, especially with the new soft sides being different. And then I like to add, if you have the embrasures, these is almost like a roof peaks right now. I'm just going to keep adding the necessary embrasures and stuff like that. But I will come into the open core, or semi-open core rather. I like to put half wall or low walls here. And you can either do one of two things. You can either put four boxes in each of these, or you can put ramps. So I'm going to quickly show, I guess, my personal preference that's different from the other way. I like to do ramps in front of these windows, like this. And then I like to put this triangle here before placing the boxes to kind of gauge where I need to place them. And then I pull it as close to me as possible, so like this. And I'll walk over, place that guy. And you should still be able to place this guy. But on these guys, I actually prefer placing this garage door first. If you're not, if this placement is hard for you, I suggest upgrading this to sheet metal and I'll show you why. And I like to do perfect placement of these guys. I may not get it on my first try here, but we understand the idea. If you can get it, there is nothing wrong with getting some perfect place boxes. So you have four instead of the two. And of course I'm messing up very badly. This takes a minute, but if you can get it, it does offer more loot space and actually reduced upkeep because you don't have to pay for those ramps. There you go. There you go, awesome. And then we'll come over here. We'll jump on this guy. And this is a great way to do it. Now these become turret locations. I'll be placing them early, but you won't have these. I'm gonna assume until much later. You're gonna wanna get those turrets up there first. And yeah, so I do suggest adding these garage doors here before you place your tier three and your vending machines. I'm gonna show you why in a second here. This is a kind of a crucial thing. So. If you don't place your tier three first, so if you don't place your tier three here first, so here I'll replace it to make it even. You gotta place, make sure this is sheet metal so it doesn't become lopsided as well. If you don't place your tier three first, you place the vending machines first at these spots, like this, the tier three won't be able to get shoved as close on this. So it's here. So as you can see, there's a huge gap here. So if you place your tier three first, I mean, obviously sometimes you can't do it this way. Two, three, first, you get it way closer. You give yourself more room to walk around. It's just personal preference, but entirely up to you guys. And then make sure to disable broadcasting. So people don't know you have endings in here. All right. Um, next thing we're gonna do is we're going to get up to our core peak area. Simply wall in the entire thing. I don't have symmetry on for this, but it's okay. We'll toggle it back on. Here, you can put a double door frame here. And over here, we're gonna wall this guy in. And we're gonna wall this guy in. This will be our two battery locations, our main two batteries, rather. But personal preference on that, guys. And then, glass window, call the day. This will be our bedroom. I like to put these frames in for stability. They're not technically necessary on all fronts, but personal preference yet again, guys. And then I will show you what you want to do on these guys. You want to place your doors swing inwards like this. And to get your bed to be all good and dandy, I'd like to say, place your locker on this wall in this corner. And then your bed like this. And it will stick through, but that's no big deal. You can get two more beds here. On these ramps, I like to fit lockers. It's a weird placement, but it works pretty well. You can get small boxes on the ramp and all that as well. And I like to sheet metal this guy as well. Now I'm gonna toggle off symmetry because I obviously have not done the roof above me. Pick one of these tiles. It does not really matter, but I personally like to do this guy right here. And this will be a square ladder hatch. Now, if you don't have a ladder hatch, I suggest taking out one of the beds for now and chucking a furnace in the way but I'm going to grab a ladder hatch as I'm on a build server. So once you get a ladder hatch, beautiful. And this will be our way up to here. Now I'm going to wall this entire guy in, double door from here. And I actually like to leave this one as a wall 
just personal preference in case I want to put loot space above here. It'll create a shelf like this. Now we'll this entire guy in, windowing all these guys off and adding, I like to double door this as it doesn't matter too much. Double door this guy. I know I haven't been adding too many doors and then I like to garage door this guy. This is the extent of all the, I guess we'll call it the interior of the base. So I'll fly outside here. It at this point just looks like a pretty tall two by two and we'll do a little walkthrough. I don't know what happened here. One second guys, we're good. But at this point, if you are like really stacked on resources, what I do suggest doing is just sheet metaling the entire first floor. Like this, because why not? And the next thing you'll want to sheet metal is if you come into this open core, you want to sheet metal these back walls behind these turrets. They are the most powerful locations that you want to do first. And after that, you want to sheet metal any of the exposed stuff, which will be these guys. It looks a little weird from the outside, how it's kind of like weirdly upgraded, but it makes sense. I'm kind of just flying around frantically, but we'll get the point. All right, next part is we are going to be building this shell. So this is four side symmetry on all sides. And I'll show you what that means. When I place a square here in twig, places on all four sides like this. And to build the shell, where you're gonna simply place one more square, break that original square, original square, and place a triangle. Now place a square, square, triangle, 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 triangle. Breaking these guys and upgrading to your desired grade. So I like to sheet metal this, sheet metal, sheet metal, and that is how we're gonna do it. And that is bugging out a little bit, but that's just a little bug. We're good. Looks good. And now I would like to note that the uh, shell is not connected right now. If you were to leave the base like this, the shell will decay. So I'm gonna show you how to connect that real quick and I'll show you by building our outer peaks. And they're super simple, just like this. And to connect the shell to the main base, placing this frame in sheet metal or any grade, it really doesn't matter, it can be stone. And uh, that will connect it back because otherwise it is not connected to the main base and that's pretty obvious. And these right now are still not connected and that is because we have not placed our entrances or our walls in the outside perimeter. So here we are, bedroom on this module and our simple entrance through this module. Garage door here and coming through here. We have four entrances in the base, which I really do like can rotate this it really does not matter and uh, same kind of thing with this get your bedroom in here same placement as those other guys the bed bed will stick out just a hair but don't worry most people really gloss over that fact and then auto turret location is on these platforms shove them as far back as possible and you're looking good and this is what we're looking at currently now to sheet metal, we're gonna be building this guy up. So to build it up, simply build up the necessary height. Three on these guys, three on these guys. And then I like to cap this one off. Now this one will look a little weirder. You're simply gonna go up three. And I know it looks weird because this one's a little like half height higher, but that'll be perfectly fine. Sheet metal this frame right like this and place the frames as I do. If you were to place this, sometimes the stability won't work. So just do it like this. Ooh, apologies. Make sure to use half walls here and go higher. We'll also cap this guy in like that. Roof triangles here. Embrasures. If you're having trouble placing this embrasure, you can't place it from this side. What I suggest is coming over to here and placing a twig frame like this and placing it like that. I try to think of the little things for you guys. Now, I personally like to glass one of these guys off as these peaks are more, or these spots are more as bedrooms to me, but that's personal preference. All right, capping this guy off. One side will become a peak and one side will not. You could also just have two entrances uh, to your roof. You don't need all four. You could just make two, like just peaks, peaks. 
it's all personal preference so we'll throw that guy and then roof triangles you should be able to place them straight through the floor like this and sometimes this one won't place i've been made aware this guy right here and the reason for that she out that frame and that will do it it's a little bit of a weird quirky building thing and we'll shoot out these guys and i like to come inside here and then place these roof triangles you can also do them from the inside outside here placing them like this and these will be our turret pods not half a symmetry you only need tur two turrets on roof but you got four use four why not and then our windmill locations are very easy now there's only two battery locations in this base so i'm not expecting you to get 50 turrets kind of expected so the best spot for your windmills is literally just to build up too high off of any of these guys with triangles and sometimes because this is a really tall base it actually is one high apologies we are very tall as you guys can tell putting a windmill on each of these guys will it will have sufficient power trust me each windmill should be able to hold i would expect eight turrets which is what you usually aim for so you have a higher increase of power and worst case you've got tons of room to supplement with solar panels another thing is some people may be asking that the raid cost is too low um, if you guys are wondering that i simply suggest adding a vending machine bunker on roof since you have first floor third floor and then roof you have a vending machine bunker which i'll show you how to add real quick we'll turn off symmetry for this guy all you do is take a wall it doesn't have to be twig and you just shove a vending machine as close to this wall as possible sheet metal it and you can even armor it like this now yes it can be soft-sided yada 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 but opening with twig we have a nice little bunker it's also a great spot for a shop if you just want to slap it a shop on a roof like this perfect so with all of that being said we're gonna go through a few other deployable placements so the last real thing is we gotta get our metal barricades on these are pretty self-explanatory pretty easy that one goes like that just stand on the square i like to build this twig like this and i'll shoot sheet metal this so it looks nicer but you place this guy like this using the twig as your build up i don't know what's going on there and then this guy like this and now apologies on me uh, i didn't have symmetry on so i'm actually just going to do that again just so people because i've had questions in the past as well we'll throw on full symmetry too this guy good apologies for the lag today we're having some uh, server issues I don't know what's going on. Yeah. We'll figure it out. And that about does it for that part. Now, the final upgrades of this base, we're going to go through the entire 2x2 two two core on the outside. Just sheet metal, literally the entire thing. Just everything, sheet metal, and all that. Uh, this base is actually kind of prepped and ready. I believe we should be able to use it as a deterrent if you really wanted to. In most of these cases, you can frame and throw chain mills on these. But what I'd rather suggest you do is you add your own compound. It can be done super cheaply. You can literally just compound the thing in, no externals, or throw some externals for anti grief and throw some bunkers in them, and it becomes an absolute wonder. And then the last things to really go about upgrading is if we come into our starter unit. And yes, the starter unit is very cheap to raid. Um, the last real things to upgrade is you want to high call the roof here and you want to high call this wall, this wall, this wall, this wall. And finally you want to high call this wall and that will effectively give you a pretty darn good raid cost. Remember split loot in this, on these kinds of bases, they can get really expensive and they're also really fun for onlines. Next thing and last thing I will now point out, apologies guys, is going to be extra door placements. You're going to want garage doors on these guys up in here if you haven't already garage doors and these kind of see how everything is making sense it's very simple it's a very simplistic base but it works very nicely garage doors on these if you have the extra gears why not on these guys and sheet metal in any parts of the roof or anything that kind of comes along uh, another thing to add is you can add small boxes on these ramps pretty easily is what I like to do for seal mats so it's always good to just know that you can spam those guys in there and then 
turrets, turret placement on these guys is really easily, very easy. Stand here, pull it all the way back. Very nice. And I like adding bedrooms or technical beds on a roof by snapping some beds here, box here. And then so you don't fall through these peaks, siren lights, which console now has everyone to stop you from falling through. I just have been made aware of and told a few times in my discord. And geez, I'm just adding extra things. People have been asking, can you fit an oil refinery in this kind of base? Of course you can. So if you want an oil refinery, perfect spot for it is right there. All right, guys, that about does it for the build. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please either leave a comment in the comment section below or consider joining my Discord. I am more than happy to answer every single question you guys have there. And heck, if you got anything to show me, I'd love to see new concepts, new builds. I'm more than happy to help you guys with every need. Just people that have been here, they know. If you guys need something, just ask. I'm more than happy to help out when I have a little free time. So I love you all. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you all in the next build.